my system, y'all. My name is Dirt Guy Raven Mack, and this is the Southern Gothic Futures Haiku Slam. And I was sitting in my house about two hours ago, and I ain't even gonna come up here and do this shit, man. I'm in the darkness right now, boy. But not even darkness. I'm shifting. It's a new phase. You know what I'm saying? So it feels like darkness because you're like, well, I'm supposed to go do this, and I'm supposed to go do that. And you don't want to do none of it. Yeah. And it's not just you being lazy. It's not just feeling depressed. Your heart is telling you, this path I'm on don't feel quite right. That's your heart talking to you. At least for me. I mean, y'all might have fucked up heads as lying to you. But for me, my heart is telling me, I ain't quite on the right path. And I also don't know what's wrong with it. So that makes you just be confused. And you're like, well, what the fuck do I do? You don't know. You just got to sit with it. You got to think on it. And that's how I was feeling today. And I didn't want to do this. But then I was like, you know what? I was so proud of the Battle of the Audreys last month, lovely Audrey Parks, who had won this bottle, and Audrey Strong won it, and I wanted her to be able to defend it again, and I knew people were coming out, and I was like, you know what, Raven, fuck it. This is self-care. Go out and get in front of these people, and just do your thing. And then when I didn't feel like coming, I was like, well, let me go into my overall wardrobe, which is really just a drawer in my room. And I said, how am I feeling today? And I actually pulled out my orange patch overalls because I was feeling the orange aura all over me. But then I was like, damn, I wore that last month, didn't I? I can't be repeating my overalls two months in a row, even though obviously I'm in an orange phase right now. But I decided since I was depressed and didn't feel like coming out, I was going to wear the brightest, most obnoxious pair of overalls I had. So that's what y'all got tonight, baby. Y'all ain't been to this, I'm going to explain how it works. It's a haiku slam. Everybody know what a haiku is? Yes, you do. For our purposes, haiku is 17 syllables or less. I'm sure somewhere in the dark corners of the downtown mall, there is an aging white man standing there who has studied at UVA for 412 years, and he wants to explain to us the history of haiku and exactly what it means and how it's been compromised by the Western tradition. But I'm here to tell y'all, fuck it, man. 17 syllables or less, we're calling that a haiku in this stage. We're making it available to us all. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to go through 19 years of education and read 3,000 words to get there. Just think it, because we all poets in our heart. How many of y'all ever tried to figure out how you was going to say some hard shit to somebody? Everybody. That's poetry. That's figuring out poetry. Everybody is a poet. And actually, that's the shit that pisses me off living in this town, is people be acting like poetry is a certain thing, or you have to do it a certain way. Every fucking human being is a poet in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm going to call two names up. Purple side going to go first, green side going to go second. I got three judges scattered throughout the audience with various philosophical perspectives. They will be judging the haiku by what they liked better, what had a better flow, what sounded good. Whatever they judge it by is okay because judges, there's three of y'all. So you hold up whichever flag you choose in the round, two out of three flags win. So it's not on any one of y'all. This whole thing does not fall on any one person. So do not get tense as a judge. Take it light and easy, baby. This is the best judging you can do on this earth. Whoever wins the round, loser goes first the next round. We go to a predetermined number to advance deeper into the night. It looks like I got like nine or ten names on here. We will also have a battle roll which will be a more rapid-fire elimination. The battle roll will be rapid-fire elimination, one and one, you need to stay. We'll do that later tonight. And we're going to have an orange bottle championship. i got two championship bottles in circulation. The purple bottle currently housed in Richmond, Virginia, held by Amy Robeson. And the orange bottle won last month by Audrey Strong. Woo! Woo! against, and this is due to host error last month, EJ, a.k.a. Enya, had actually made it to the final, and I fucked it up and didn't call them up for the final. So they are coming back tonight going for the bottle. It was the only right thing to do. Give them their time to shine. And I got $100 in 
in my pocket. Y'all know why? Because I was selling drugs. I remember that. <laughs> we sponsored by Joy Menagerie, which is a local nonprofit that sponsors and supports Joy. And it sponsors community care. I can't really describe it too well because it does a whole lot of different things. But it supports this. And we have given out, let's see, by my calculations, I think over the last three years, we've given out about $1.2 million in haiku slams. We are by far the highest paying poetry organization in the state of Virginia. Woo! All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got ten people. Our rounds are going to be best of five, but we have a special challenge round to open this thing up. It's going to be best of seven. Coming up on the purple side, y'all give it up for my partner in crime, Dolly. for coming out, especially Raven, because we had a whole conversation this afternoon about whether or not we were going to cancel, or he was going to cancel, and I was going to support him either way. And I think I've been canceling shit. I've heard people multiple months say, I didn't want to come, but I made myself come. And I just want to acknowledge the energy, like you said, like it's like we're on the wrong path. And I've been thinking a lot about energy and about capitalism and about reciprocity and how do we feed each other psychically and energetically when we're doing these things and we just don't want to do it. And I don't have an answer to that, but I'm sort of laying down the gauntlet of creative thinkers. How do we support what we want our lives to be? Because I'm struggling with it. And I'm seeing a lot of people in this room and in my wider realm who are really struggling with how do we live in this world right now. This world, yeah. So on top of that, I'm going to say, you know, I don't feel like doing nothing. If you're sitting out there thinking about something you want to do and you need a little boost or a little help, don't reach out to Dirt Guy because I will help you. Because that's what I like to do when I don't feel like doing nothing. I like turning off the brain, putting the hands to use, and just helping somebody else find their vision. So y'all hit me up. Coming up on the green side, before I call them up, hold up. I didn't do this last month. These microphones are my microphones. They're not house mics. They cheap. They can handle being moved. If you come up here, get yourself right, get the mic wherever you gotta have it. Make sure you're in your vibe now. I don't want somebody saying, well, I would have won, but Raven ain't let me move the microphone and then I lost. Get it right. Make yourself feel good. Coming up on the green side, y'all give it up for the young mastermind in the wild one that requested this opening one because she says she has a theme and thinks she always loses in the first round, but I don't think that's true. Y'all give it up for ISIS. Judges, please hold your flags up high when you pick, because I'm up. I don't know, man. I'm just in a mood. <laughs> Dolly, you get to go first. Purple goes first tonight. Substitute teaching. Wonder what world we're building for these young humans. Isis. I have cuts on my legs, burns on my arm and chest. These, sto these scars tell my tale. Judges. I have went to Dolly. That's a good one, Isis. And that's your theme, too. Yep. Isis down one to nothing, you get to go first. I would carve words into my flesh. My legs would bleed. I hate everything. Oh, yeah. We're warehousing kids because we don't know where we fit, let alone them. Judges. Now one goes to Isis. Oh, we had a little judge switch there, didn't we? I like that. Keep me on my toes. One to one, Dolly, you get to go first. Going to four. Substitute teaching, having compassion for kid wearing MAGA shirt. Isis. X's initials burned into my chest with a lighter and flathead. Judges. Dolly took that one up to the one. Isis, you get to go first. I have a matching third degree burn with a man who held me captive overseas. Dolly. Trying to school kids on consent and respect in a system without. Judges. And Dolly took that one. I got matching burns for somebody too. It doesn't sound like it was dramatic. Isis, you down three to one. You get to go first. 
No, 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 hold up. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. Fuck that. Fuck that. So look, man, it's all about your delivery too. So we're going to do a Nature Boy check for ISIS right now. Everybody, if you don't know what a Nature Boy check is, I'm going to count to three. You can breathe down through your lungs, into your stomach and heart, all the bad things, good things, whatever you got in there that you need to be expelling. When I get to three, we go on for woo like Nature Boy Ric Flair. Does that make sense? I hope so, because I don't feel like explaining it no better. Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Woo! Give it to him, ISIS. When I was 15, I would cut lines in my legs just to watch them bleed. Giving advice about practicing things for decades to teenagers. Judges. That one went to ISIS. Delivery girl, I'm telling you. Dolly, you up three to two. Curricula designed for all results in learning for none. Give it to them, Isis. My traumas make me what I am, and what I am is hard to handle. Damn! All right, Isis took that one. Three to three. Whoever wins this one goes to the next round. Dolly, you get to go first. Give it to them. See, I can't tell her because she'd be like, don't tell me. <laughs> Showing my age by hating youthful trends like flexible knees and joints. <laughs> Isis? I wish my dad cared more about me than hating my mother. Judges. Dolly creeped away with the last round, but y'all give it up for Isis. something we never wanted. We all have trauma, just like our eyes, different hues, windows to our souls. <coughs> that one goes to Caitlin, two to two. Who shall advance to the next round? We're going to find out right here. I get to go first. Running my finger over scars I can't explain the origin of. Said that you loved me. You're just talking to yourself. You're so conceited. Judges. And that one went to me. But y'all give it up for Caitlin. <laughs> Also, at some point, 
for those of y'all that like tattoos, you know, don't ever see no like women tattooing. At some point in the next 12 years, Caitlin will finally be allowed to tattoo people. Yeah. Tell them let you I know, right? I'm gonna put a squat tattoo. Black I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say I'm requesting Caitlin. Yes, please. You won that last round, right? Who won? Dolly won. I forgot. Write the wrong thing down already. That's how I fuck up all the time. Alright, coming up on the purple side, forgive me for my sidetrack. Multiple time competitor, been in this thing a whole bunch. Y'all give it up for Zoe. Woo! And coming up on the green side. Coming back, came last month, I think, did it before too. Y'all give it up for Dave. That's the five, first one to win three. I did not tell y'all if y'all feel something or you like what you hear, you don't gotta be quiet, you can be loud, unless you wanna be quiet, then you can be quiet. Do what you wanna do. Like if you wanna be quiet, be quiet, we'll be loud, be loud. Show your appreciation however you like to show your appreciation. Zoe, you get to go first. Look at Sharp today. Look at you. Damn. <laughs> the leaves on the street smell like candy covered beets. What a world so sweet. Dave. All right, so this is uh, a series of haikus that I wrote about um, Sylvester Stallone movies. Okay. Strung between two feet, a man feels a woman's hand slip between his fingers. Judges. And that one went to Dave, up one to nothing. So you down one to nothing, going to three, you get to go first. Eliciting lines of fulfillment beyond my feelings left behind. Dave. Long slabs of cow flesh hang in a frozen locker, waiting to be punched. <laughs> and that one goes to Dave, too, up two to nothing. That's going to be two to nothing. All right, Zoe, you're down two to nothing. The mic right, feel good. We need to get you hype. Nature Boy, check. One, two, three. Woo! Give it to him, Zoe. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> This mangy coat caresses my aching bones. A circumspective cloak. It helps me out when I was in the like 13 Okay, alright, that's that helps. A tortured man walks from a jungle of pain to forests of sorrow. And that one went to Zoe, two to one. Dave, you're up two to one, going to three, and you get to go first. And that's the joy. You get to pick your best one or whatever one you think flows. That, that's the fun of having a whole stack, y'all. A crew of old men, each once a hero, now wage a meaningless war. So. Taking myself into submission. I don't want to be a waste. Judges. And that one went to Zo two. Two to one. Uh, two to two. Two to two. Whoever wins this advances deeper into our thing that we are doing. <laughs> Dave. The streets that scorn law will be ruled by men who wield handguns like gavels. So. That's the beautiful thing about the grave. It often ascends times. Ascends time. Judges. And that one's going to go to Dave, y'all. So Dave moves on deeper into the night. So one thing I didn't tell y'all, there's a table back there that's got books that I published, got zines that I made. Got buttons that I stand. It's got my Venmo code. Y'all give me a couple dollars if you feel like it. If you don't feel like it, that's fine too. We all broke. The empire's declining. It don't matter 20 years from now, no way. Coming up on the purple side, making their debut. 
on the Southern Gothic Futures High Blue Slam stage. Y'all give it up for Allie! Woo! And coming up on the green side, on the other side, y'all give it up for Philippe! Woo! That's the five, going to three. I had to put y'all up against each other. Hit the mics where you like it. Make sure you feel good. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? All right, Allie. All right. Every day I'm alive. That seems to be the only constant threat. Please. Please do not worry, my father and my mother. We are your godkids. Judges. That first one goes to Allie. Believe you get to go first, down one to nothing. You're not a human. You are truly a being. You just have to be. Yes. Allie. A puzzle in a bag, shaken violently, then all pieces connect. Judges. That was a tight combo right there. Philippe got the round, that was a good combo. Thus far, that was my favorite one-to-one -one combo of the night. <laughs> but I usually say that about 29 times throughout the course of the night. Allie, you get to go first, one-to-one. -one. Watching him sleep. Oh no, shit, wait, he saw me. Pretend to sleep now. <laughs> Thank you, my father. Thank you, my dearest mother, for soul and body. Judges? And now one goes to Allie, up two to one. Believe you down two to one, going to three. Give it to him now. You're so beautiful. No one else has your beauty. All who were and will. Allie? I think I want to die, but all I want is to feel in the present. Judges? And that one went to Allie, y'all. But y'all give it up for Felice. Now, I got, I got any other names? Because I got two names left. Any other names? Huh? To mark yours off. Wow. If come back next time, I'll be so much better, I swear. Nope. So many of them. God, I got to go. You don't have enough? She doesn't like her. Well, I need a late show. Like you gonna do it? All right. Thomas is, Thomas is there. Woo! Yeah. There's another hand back here. Huh? There's another hand in the back. Well, it depends. Is it up to three? Or is it up to five? I'll take every uh, five for the round. You show what you got. Oh. How many you got? I got like seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can get through the round, and if you win, like you can write him a couple more real quick. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to let you write a couple more, because I'm going to call two other people first. <laughs> Coming up first, replacing a former champion, Kenzie, who for some reason signed up, but then decided, even though they have dazzled us with their wonderful haiku, from a perspective that needs to be heard, then wait until next month, and I can respect that. I can respect that. Sometimes you gotta let them ferment, like haiku or like darts. Sometimes you gotta let them ferment a little while so the point gets a little sharper, and you can come up here and boom, just nail somebody with it. But coming up in her stead is gonna be making the debut June. June! Purple side. And on the green side, also making the debut, y'all give it up for Thomas. Y'all was nature boy in it already right there. June, you get to go first. You feel it? You feel good? You ready to do this? You feel it? Hell yeah, that's what I like to hear. June, you get to go first. Purple side, baby. Keep it simple. No time for romanticizing. Thomas. Self-deceit, <clears throat> self-loathe and deceit. It covers all of his griefs, and that's clash and truth. Judges? And that's going to go to Thomas. First one's up to Thomas. One to nothing. <laughs> June, you get to go first. And I'm just going to suggest channel a little bit. At one point in your life, you were pissed off at somebody's little ball. Fuck y'all. Listen to the first. Hey! Choke you on words I want to scream at you. Oh, You're gone. Thomas. Whiskey and women both are welcome to my bed. What's wrong with my head? Judges. June took that one one to one. Thomas is one to one. You get to go first. We go into three. Hold on, let's make 
I can't read my fucking name. That's all right. I can't read mine either. Story goes, fuck, I'm on a pit. It's got beer on it. <laughs> June? Your high horse better come down in time to drive home. <laughs> Thomas got that one, but that was a that was that was a sharp one right there. <laughs> Two to one, June, you are down, you get to go first. Gasp for breaths of reality. Plunge back under. Thomas. I'll be stroking it. Long, hard, soft, slow. Be stroking. Judges. <laughs> Oh, I didn't finish. Sorry. She'll be satisfied. June got it. <laughs> two to two. Two to two. Whoever wins this one advances deeper into the night. Thomas, you get to go first. Leaving can be rough. Following the truth is easy. Only if you want. June. Bittersweet September endings. Sharp exhales at fall to my knees. Judges. And Thomas is going to take it, y'all. Y'all give it up for June. June, those are good. Hey, June, those are good. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, June. The other person who said they had some, where you at? And I don't know your name. What's your name? Here, I'm Maddie. Maddie, that's right. Maddie, come on up to the purple side. You're the next contestant on the Southern Gothic Futurist Haiku Slam. <laughs> Anybody else? Because I'm about to go through people the second time now. I got five. Come on up. <laughs> Give it up for Ammon. And you know what? Since y'all short-handed and y'all might advance, and I'm the host and I can do whatever the fuck I want, we're going to do best of three. Maddie, you get to go first. All right. Time bank idea. If I'm wasting it, I can transfer some to you. Ammon. Big halls. That's a Ford. You must know what that means, right? Fix or repair daily. <laughs> Judges. And that's one for Maddie. Maddie's up one to nothing. Ammon, you get to go first. Hey, I'm not a jerk. I'm just a little sad Ted Kaczynski died. <laughs> Maddie. One across the street to walk on the sunny side. Does that make me weak? Judges. <laughs> and that will go to Maddie, too. Y'all give it up for Ammon, though. All right, so Maddie, you're going to have to come back up in another round. Uh, we can figure out how many you got. Maybe you can scribble out a couple more. We're going to do another. We're going to do a best of nine this time. You know why? Because coming up on the purple side is Dolly, coming up on the green side is Ray. We will settle this once and for all. Woo! Y'all hear her side? Y'all hear her side? Y'all hear her side when she came up here? Like, that's what I get all the time. I'm an exasperating person to be around 24 7, believe it or not. What? And yet, also, I'm a you get to go first. We're going to five. Bye, Thomas. Judges, y'all ready? <laughs> You're the best of nine, bro. Oh, yeah. We're going to flex. We're going to show them how we do it. You know how we do it. We're going to show them. Yeah. <laughs> Environmentalist perpetuating white supremacy. 1,000-year-old hound dog anxiously panting for my chicken bones. <laughs> and it was about your dog. <laughs> Booyaka. <laughs> it's actually a short list of who all helped after the apocalypse. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're all suffering from consumption, bloated by plastic existence. That one goes to dialing, one to one. I get to go first. Practicing kindness to myself as I struggle with some memories. care for myself as much as I care for others. That one went to me, two to one. Down two to one, going to five. Yep. Let's put 800 hormonal kids in concrete jail for nine months. I can now pronounce bourgeoisification, <laughs> proving it's happened. <laughs> Took that one, three to one. Simultaneously feeling trapped and lost in our current culture. Yeah. Calling at the crows with plastic contraption I got off Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that one goes to you, three to two. I get to go first. Downloading an app to order deathly fast food more affordably. <laughs> Notifications, five hours daily phone usage, so much nothing. Judges. Dolly took that one, three to three. I get to go first. River still speaking same language as centuries ago. Ancient shush. <laughs> Watching teens guzzle sugar fat salt from plastic bags and phones. Four to three. I'm up. Get to go first. The comfort of a laminated sign of kitten hanging in there. <laughs> Political signs for county sheriffs splitting along color lines. All right, I took it. You did. Five to three. I used to have to park over by the um, 
wherever the basketball arena and shit is. And like I was always like, if I'm 15 minutes late, I'm a half hour early. So I'm always running late. And like I parked my car one day and I had to walk all the way over to the West Complex. So I'm walking and trying to go and I'm not feeling it. And I'm walking up the hill over there by where they're tearing up the library. And the band is practicing. The UVA band is practicing. <laughs> And they're playing the fucking Rocky theme. Like I'm walking, I'm like, yeah, uh huh. And I got all hyped up and I made it to work. I was only 18 minutes late. Hey. That was my Rocky song. Sorry. Like the horns got stuck in my head when you had them going up the steps, you know? All right, one to one. Dave, you get to go first. A caged man returns to the country of his death to free those who live. Allie. What's left of me is varying in density, something and nothing. Judges. That's going to go to Allie, two to one. Today, you get the fire first. Sylvester Stallone haiku for that ass tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the god of the ring speaks truth with red fists, wearing the American flag. <laughs> <laughs> Is what I want not what I want? Because when it's there, I reject it. Judges. And that one goes to Allie. So Allie advances on. Woo!
Now, Audrey and EJ, I apologize for staying here while I talk for a minute, because something I wanted to talk about, I mean, it stems from the fact my mom died the other week. So I've been wrestling with some weird shit because we had a complicated relationship and I've been going back home and dealing with a lot of family and it's just been weird because I come from wild ass people. So it's just been a lot going on. And one thing I've tried to do in my life, as you can probably see by the clothes I'm wearing, is I'm trying to detoxify some of the fucking country masculinity shit that I do. And I'm trying to keep good masculinity but not have that toxic shit. And one thing I realized I do the past year, I've been practicing telling people I know I love them. And when it's my boys, I'm like, love you, man. Like, love you. And like, I realized in the last week, we don't say I. We don't put the pronoun on it. We still have that little piece we're holding back where we're like, love you, love you. So I've been practicing saying, I love you. So that people know. Because there's a lot of people in this room that I love. And I would say, I love you. So I'm practicing that. That's what I got out of the last couple of weeks of dealing with some crazy shit. Is I'm trying to let people know I love them and lead with love, but also know it's me saying it. It ain't like no, love you, man. Like, you know, I love you. It's a big difference. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you for that little nonsense rant. <laughs> That's the 19 means first one to 10. They gonna go deep into the stack. Only the greatest haiku warriors can handle this. Audrey, you get to go first. Mm -hmm. right. Using my time well, counting the constellations on my freckled hand. Mm -hmm. EJ. Be that freak at UVA that keeps dead things in a cubicle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And that one goes to EJ, up one to nothing. Audrey, you get to go first. Lan Lancaster exit, Dutch dreaming amidst pipes and industrial scheming. <laughs> EJ. Same men that claim right to genocide deny our abortions. Judges. And Audrey took that one. We have some hesitant judges, but Audrey took it one to one. EJ, you get to go first. Now look, when people got like political edge haiku, if you vote against it, nobody thinks you're voting against the meaning, so just keep that in mind. Like, you know, I don't want nobody to feel like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe you don't. I don't know. I babble. Two periods last month. Are you cute or am I just ovulating? <laughs> Audrey. Watching the red rose wither beside the closed door as my tea goes cold. Judges. Now one goes to Audrey too. Two to one. EJ, you get to go first down two to one. Stevie Nicks like chrome stuffs pockets with marigolds, never without seeds. Audrey. Ancient barn hostel, one night stay with infamous cult apostle. <laughs> Judges. Audrey took that one up three to one. I kind of want to hear the story about that later. <laughs> EJ, you down three to one, you get to go first. Four hours holding hands with gourds, tendrils wrapped round me like a lover. Nice. Audrey. Military tanks pass on highway as reports play of Palestine. Judges. Audrey took that one, four to one. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I love a damn tendril haiku always. <laughs> That's like my most overused word, is tendril. EJ, you get to go first, down four to one. Where to put grief when all your pockets are full? Dirt, God, Train tracks, clouds, creeks. Driving down Plank Road, passing goldenrod tendrils, pine and coke berries. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. EJ took that one four to two. But I got two tendril haikus. <laughs> Ooh. Four to 
Four to two. You get to go first, Audrey. Trees bow and sway in awe of the one heard nor seen, the knowing of green. EJ. Eyes like 8 a.m. on a Tuesday, somewhere between Haint and Eve Klein Blue. Judges. Audrey took that one. I like that first line of that one. EJ, you get to go first. Down five to two, going to ten. Y'all still feeling it? Y'all good? Woo! 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 Don't lie. Woo! Woo! Ow! All right, EJ. Five to two, you down. Come on now. EJ. Got this. Black trans mattering. Sage Smith has been missing. 12 years, almost let you forget. Audrey. An antique rest, red rusty Coke sign, been fading in the sun for quite some time. Judges. EJ took that one. Down five to three, but took the round. Audrey, you get to go first, up five to three. Don't close your eyes to the war weapons genocide in South Palestine. EJ. Solo Prince Karaoke, Toenail Moon, Dance Like Human Pendulum. Judges. Now one goes to Audrey, up six to three. So I'm going to say something real quick, whether it's South Palestine or whether it's Sage Smith. This world steps on a whole lot of people. And the only way you help it not be stepping on people is with your actions. I don't give a fuck what you do online. I don't give a fuck about buttons you push and say what you like. Your actions in this world is how you disrupt and destroy those things. Live like a good person in all your interactions. Even the ones motherfuckers never going to know about those are the ones that matter most, actually, because don't nobody know about that shit. And you got to be good at all those moments. And if you're into going to big protest DC, so I'll be a huge one for Palestine tomorrow. One of the dudes at Visible Records, I was helping him campaign his um, de decolonize Palestine the banner today, and he would like to carpool if anyone wants to carpool. You don't even have to pay for all the gas. You can go up to DC tomorrow for a big protest. Yeah. Yup, big Woo! protest in DC. But I'm going to reiterate, because I'm old. I'm going to reiterate, the actions you take in this community you live in, with the people that are stepped on, within a mile of this place, the people that stepped on and can't afford to come up in here, that matters. EJ, you get to go first. Down six to three. Wait, you won that round, didn't you? Oh, six to three. You get to go first. My bad. For Zoe, how does Sinead O'Connor part her hair? She squats. <laughs> sister, sister sings Barry Manilow bobbing between cold Atlantic waves. Judges. EJ took down with six to four. Hey, Sinead hey, O'Connor hey. more than Barry Manilow. <laughs> Audrey get to go first, six to four. Lambent oh, pink roses yeah. casting luminous vibrance upon gray gardens. EJ. Drunk couple, woman with napkin with tongue, scrums wi scrubs wing sauce from his chin. Yikes. <laughs> and that one goes to Audrey, seven to four. EJ, you down seven to four. We're going to ten. You get to go first. Nasty ass wing sauce man. <laughs> Can't even wipe his own damn chin. Couldn't even wipe his own chin, y'all. There was work to do there. 
Just dating the mom. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Primordial truth. Onomatopoeia, y'all. It is what it is. All true. Mm -hmm. Gullies line the road where unwanted excess flows, burdens we can't hold. That one goes to Audrey, eight to four. And who knew we was gonna get two on a model B haiku? <laughs> eight to four, EJ, you down, you get to go first. Southern bird constellations, Aquila, Corbidae, Bruce, point where wind ought to blow. Audrey? Silence, snap, crackle. Staring across the forest, the lone mama's ear. Judges. And that one goes to Audrey. Nine to four. Knocking on the door. Nine to four, EJ, you get to go first. Barista sins. Made you decaf because of your hoverboard. <laughs> one, one finger raised to the dawn bringer, the one deserving of praise. EJ took that one, nine to five. That was a tight one. Nine to five, Audrey, you up and get to go first. Warehouses overseas stack up missiles while the U.S. debt triples. <laughs> Just want a fresh pen every time, but that ain't how the world works. Judges? EJ took another one, nine to six. Scratching back into this thing. Audrey, you up nine to six. You just need one more. Don't panic. Don't panic. This is where champions are made in the later rounds. Rocky horns running up the steps, <laughs> punching sides of you. <laughs> the human heartache hovering awake, heavy in the earth's ether. Find black bear struck dead by car, her paw the size of both my hands combined. Judges. And Audrey took it, y'all. Audrey's a successful defendant in the orange bottle, so this will remain with them as a magical object upon their home. Yeah. yeah. Because of our sponsorship for the main event, I always got $25 for champion and challenger. So, EJ, thank you very much. And Audrey, thank you, as always. All right. How many do you think you got now, Maddie? Okay. Ten. Ten. How many you got, Allie? Just about ten as well. Ten Just about ten, so yeah. there's three of us. Oh, ow. Oh, man. Damn. Oh, how old is My arthritic knee is acting up. I'm going to pull out. I'm just going to pull out. I can't read haiku when my arthritic knee is acting like this. I fuck up my consonants, and I don't do it right, and it just wouldn't be right. It would further damage my knee because actually I'm such a shit talker, part of my tongue is in my leg. So I'm pulling out, and we're going to have a final for the night. Best of nine on the purple side, y'all give it up for Allie, and on the green side, y'all give it up for Maddie. Everybody good? All right, Maddie, you get to go first down one to nothing, going to five. 
looking for haiku slam glory here in Charlottesville, Virginia. <laughs> Today the fall breeze lays through Nick's face, lit it up, gratitude, relief. Allie. I live this life with the freedom my younger self couldn't imagine. Ooh, judges. That one goes to Allie, too. Two to nothing. Maddie, you're down two to nothing. That's okay. We're going to five. Plenty of time. Bob, we your way back into this thing. You get to go first. Sunset was blue orange. Looked down at my phone. Two blinks. Now it's purple red. Allie. Fragile, swollen eyes. Grief and joy is what it means to be alive. Judges. Now one goes to Alley too. Three to nothing. Maddie, your haiku are good, so don't be, don't feel like these are tight. Three to nothing, Maddie. You down? You get to go first. Okay. I'm glad I'm not judging. Clench-legged beliefs. What I learned then, I leaked out. Still some kind of tie. Yes. Life is a slow build, trudging upward block by block, but I carry it slow. Judges. Maddie took that one three to one. Allie, you get to go first. Three to one, going to five. Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Woo! Nature Boy check. One, two, three. Woo! Allie, your turn. <laughs> Tulsi to calm my nerves. There's a cell for almost everything. Putting up road signs. Stop. No thinking past this line for my 12 track mind. Judges. Maddie coming back. Three to two. Yeah, they wrote a lot of these just now, y'all. Yeah. Allie, you get to go first. Up three to two. With fresh from the brain haiku. <laughs> Seeing a psychic at midnight in DC. Cry my eyes out. Maddie. I like pretty things. Platitudes, curly fries, snow. Live, laugh, love. So true. <laughs> Allie took that one four to two. Four to two, Maddie. You get to go first. You got to win three in a row here. I mean, you don't got to. None of this is important or necessary. That was fun. It is. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Something stirring now when I quit the driver's seat. Open to it all. Allie. Rice, carrots, apples, spinach, sausage, onions, bread, eggs, cocoa powder. It's just my groceries. <laughs> Judges. And that goes to Allie, so she wins it tonight. Woo! Just concussions. 
you in my thoughts, like a dog ear in a book. It always opens to that page. The ego is strong. No matter how we fight it, it stings when we lose. Judges. That's a good pair. And Philippe took it, y'all. Y'all yeah. give it up for that. Oh, uh, the 29th, Sunday 29th, Poetry Slam. Poetry Slam, yeah. visible record, Poetry Sunday the 29th. Yeah. I've got posters uh, all spread around. <laughs> yeah. Purple side, Dolly. Green side. What do you call it? Zoe. All right, Dolly, you get to go first there, over there on the purple side. <laughs> When your people only taught how to burn it down, hard to build. <laughs> yes, indeed. So. Money talks and whispers to me not to give it up, just wait and see. Judges. And Dolly moves on. Y'all give it up for Zoe, though. <laughs> Greenside June. And actually, you know what's funny? I'm an old ass man, and I knew both of these young folks when they was little. So it's, it's so good to see some of the wonderful young adults y'all have become. I so appreciate it. Jesus fucking Christ, fuck Israel's treatment of Palestinians. And see, that's why I love them. <laughs> Parts of me can you break off and digest? Short and sweet. Judges. And ISIS took it, y'all. That was a good one, June. I really love that. I'll give it up to June. church ever was, human connection. Oh, yeah. Dave? In a Russian lab, a team of scientists forged the perfect fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Judges. Caitlin advances. I'll give it up to Dave. movie with the Russian dudes any time in the past 10 years? Like, America is the Russians. Like, now, like, because we got, like, all the crazy labs and everything, like, I mean, obviously the movie was propaganda anyway. Very entertaining propaganda. But, like, America was always the Russian labs, and we just didn't know it. Isn't that crazy? It ain't crazy. <laughs> Alright, purple side, Philippe. Green side, Dolly. Philippe, you get to go first. Purple, to express myself is so fun. Why do we hide? Show us your greatness. Damn right, Dolly. Why aren't there mutton flavored chips? Really missing a chance there, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Philippe moves on. <laughs> Purple side. <laughs> Lord have mercy if these two people hooked up. Good Lord. Purple side, ISIS. Green side, Caitlin. Over 70 years of mistreatment happened before last week's attacks. Caitlin. Resentment for dad. Forgiveness to resolve hate. Peopling is hard. The judges. Caitlin took it. She moves on. Thank you, Isis. Purple <laughs> side, Philippe. Green side, Caitlin. $10 in my pocket to the winner. Philippe. Only one left. Pick your best remaining haiku. I mean, your favorite. You don't have to do that. <laughs> it's awesome, Jack. What does pain reveal? An eye-opening life choice. Reveal your gold soul. Caitlin. I 
I feel out of place. God will help you. God will fix all your problems. Are these people serious? <laughs> Judges? And that's it, y'all. Caitlin won it. Tim, declining empire, American dollar bills. Thank you, Caitlin. Hey, y'all, that's how we do this. This is something about the Keepers Like Them Stream. Our last event of the year in Charlottesville is next month on November 12th. I know I said last month we were going to have a live stream on at the end of the month. I canceled it. I don't give a fuck about doing that. We're doing one here, and then I'm shutting it down for the winter. So y'all come back next month. Thank you for being part of this. Please check out my merch stand because, please, it's just sitting there and it clutters up my life. Thank y'all, and I'll see y'all next month. Over. Thank <laughs> you.